Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. In the last episode, we cranked out the various dinosaurs that were needed for the Entertainment Division mission, which are our Crithosauruses, our Struthiomimuses, and our Edmontosaurs, which are way over there. Got them all enclosed and everything, and um, right at the end there, once we got everybody in the... Uh, the enclosure together, uh, Dr. Wu kind of broke in and said, you know what, go ahead and incubate a pack of raptors and throw them in this enclosure with, uh, with all the herbivores. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. Struthium Mimus. Running by. Oh, they got such nice patterns, but um, fortunately, they're going to get, they're going to get at. So, uh... So we'll see how that goes. If we're gonna be throwing some Velociraptors in here, I'm gonna need to reinforce those uh, those fences because the light steel is not gonna cut it. It's not gonna cut it with Raptors. Oh yeah, I think I called uh, I called the Struthios uh, the Struthies here giant chickens, though they're more like ostriches. In fact, that's what their name means, ostrich mimic. Interestingly. The ostrich is, I think, the largest current living theropods, if I remember correctly. Alright, so, we're going to pack of raptors. Uh, let's see. Velociraptor. Velociraptor. There you are. You were up to the challenge of keeping our guests out of harm's way. You've improved our standing. If I'm going to throw some Velociraptors in here, I'm going to make them pretty. Uh, we've, we've done the, the Jurassic World patterns before. I'm going to throw a Vivid on one of these. And then I'll do uh, I'll do blue. My feeder needs resupply. I guess we can go air it on one of these, though I don't know how much that's gonna look or how much that's gonna change, because the original patterning was kind of bland, all told. Echo, we'll throw echo on there. Okay. All right, which feeder? Oh, it's it's this one. I mean, might as well. And I should have these feeders topped off. And take care of that one too. All right. Um we're going to be electrifying this, so... Aldous Protection... Improved Output... Improved Output... Aldous Protection 2.0, and then another Improved Output. There we go. So we should have lots of unused power. All right, we're gonna go full electrified concrete. Too close to a dinosaur. Where? Oh, now we should be okay.
All right, so that should be the whole fence. Done. Now we only need three for the pack, but I usually always like to add a fourth because in case one dies or something happens, that there's a buffer. Alright, how are you doing? You're doing fine. When things go wrong, who do they turn to first? No, we're going to decline that one. Increase the new genome. Well, we're not going to get that for a little bit. Dinosaur is ready to release. Uh, let's get a new... Security Division contract. I can't order you to take this new contract, but I wish I could. It's that good. Build, connect, and power a bowling alley. Part of what we are is about growth. The bigger we are, the more we have to adapt to our animals' needs. Okay. I can do that, I guess. Um... I'll throw a bowling alley in, um... Obstructed. Obstructed by what? I'll throw one there. Sure, why not? And then we'll upgrade that pylon to a full substation. are really easy. All right, here we go. Can't hardly see it in the dark there. All right, how are you doing? Oh. Actually, you're fine in here in terms of grassland and forest coverage. So this is a well-sized enclosure for the raptors. That's impressive work. Which is good. Which means they're not going to get cranky until uh, I'm ready to move them. This one's got blue's color, yep. And then, uh, this is supposedly the Vivid. Got like a bit of red flex in the skin. And then, there's this one. Which now is getting dark because it's raining again. Okay. Well, what we're gonna do? I'm gonna put some carnivore feeders in here. Want this somewhat near the door. Yep, there you go. Okay. 
ACU team. No problem. Request acknowledged. Let's get those guys taken care of. Well, someone was mentioning in the comments that there was a new site. Requires research. Ah, that must be the site where the Alora Titan is. Speaking of research, I uh, can't afford these just yet. We're only at 7.2 million in the bank. Two down. Just waiting for the other two. And then we'll get them moved. Now I'm not sure how long they're going to want those to be in there. I think the Carithosaurs are the only ones with a... like an actual herd need. The Struthiomimuses are fine solo, and I think the Edmontosaurs are also fine by themselves. So, if the, uh, the herds get cut down, which they are going to be. Alright, sounds like work is done. Indeed. All right, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and do it. Acknowledging asset collection request. Heading to collect the guests are going to get a show. That's for sure. En route to pick up the asset. Asset collection request received. Now, I know when the game originally came out that the difference in wall type only affected how long it would take for a dinosaur to break out. Meaning every dinosaur in the game could break out of every type of wall. So, a Struthiomimus could break through an electrified concrete wall, eventually. But I think, if I remember correctly, that's been changed. Incoming Tropical Storm. Perfect. Get everybody in the shelters. Señoras y señores, como medida de precaución por su seguridad, dirijanse al refugio más cercano. So I'm not sure if the Velociraptors can actually break through an electrified concrete wall. I mean, you'd think they wouldn't be able to. Protecting our guests is, of course, our first priority. But our second priority is continuing to improve our security profile. And this new contract could help us do that. So it's important that you consider it. Easy peasy. Unearth a carnivore fossil. We need to keep looking for other dinosaurs we may be able to domesticate. Well, more accurately, put on the road to domestication. The way we'll be able to control them is by letting them control themselves. Their natural hierarchy. That means we need more samples. This expedition can help. All right. Here it goes. All 
Oh, and uh, all the herbivores are now panicked. Whoa. What are you doing? Our new animals are going from star attractions to menu items. This was not part of the plan. The bowling alley's been damaged. Alright, where's raptor number four? Raptor number four is... Somewhere. There they are. Okay. Ensure all mission-specific dinosaurs are housed together for four minutes. Are these guys going to be agitated? See the hill, take the hill, huh? Keep it up. Now, what's going to happen if one mission specific dinosaur is going to get killed? Does that count as being housed together? Now what I can do is, once this is done, get these guys all tranked again before too much damage is done and get them moved to one of the other uh, carnivore enclosures. Looking for water. So I'm kind of hoping that the feeder kind of keeps them fed so they don't start hunting the other herbivores. I'll be shocked if I can get through here. Why is the time not ticking? Responding to repair requests. Okay, that was weird. See, there's the three raptors. There's the number four. There's the one that doesn't really matter. And I'm going to be keeping everybody in the shelters until this is done. Actually, I probably don't really need to. Okay, raptor, 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 okay. Uh, it would be nice if there was a... like a gene mod or something they would add to the game that actually would give them proper feathers. As soon as that two minutes is over, ACU is coming out here. You might not want to take a nap there, Carithosaurus. Uh-oh. Okay, it's looking for food and it's going to the feeder for food. Okay. Good. All right, just a minute to go. Probably throw these in with the Acrocanthosaurus.
right, anything else we can do while we're waiting? Um, probably run some contracts. I would like to push it to get the mission unlocked here. So let's go for another security division contract. I just finished reviewing this new contract, and I think it's right up. Tyrannosaurus Rex and sure Nidrosaurus together. No, that's that just is stupid. All right, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. And that's done. Let's see if there's anything else we have to do. Nope, mission complete. Grassland adaptation 2.0 and now available. All right, let's get the ACU over here. Okay, that was unexpected and spectacular. Our guests do really love watching our dinosaurs fight. A modern coliseum, right? Colossal entertainment. Yeah, yeah, that works. Just let me in on it next time, yeah? All part of my research. And it boosted your entertainment value. A win all around. And considering how some of the animals fared, I'd say a bruised ego was worth the price, wouldn't you? Truth is, I don't much like you, Dr. Wu, and I'm not alone. But it is hard to argue with your results. And I think I'm lucky to get out of there with no casualties. Knock, knock. Who's there? New contract. That's it. Period. All right. Disease contracted. Uh, well, ACU's busy, so... Um, no problem. Oh, and of course it's the Allosaurus. Oh, that's not going to go well for the ACU team. Not the Ranger team. I'd much rather use the ACU helicopter to do it, but, um... Yeah, as I said, they're busy. Come on. Alright, you drive directly. Alright, get you out of the enclosure. Okay, there's all four. Excellent. That did not go how I expected it to go. I thought I'd be replacing <laughs> some herbivores. And we're going to put them in with the Acrocanthosaurus. As I said. And you should be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine with them. If I take put a second Acrocanthosaurus in here. Okay, so as far as missions go, oh, we have some research we can do. The new grassland adaptation. Let's get the improved construction going as well. And then let's get the... Science mission. 
incubate and release into the same enclosure in a Lorotite, a Triceratops, two Edmontosaurus, and three Draco Rex. and release a specific dinosaur into a cohabitation enclosure. Get to it then. Hey now, what have we here? Looks like Dr. Dewey is driving and you are along for the ride. Or am I missing something? Honestly, <laughs> I've been known to do that before. All right. And now that's our Carnivores are no longer in here. I'm going to remove that electrified concrete because I don't want to be wasting the electricity on an enclosure that doesn't need it. We'll go with the heavy steel this time. Just for a little added security. Just got to get the dinosaurs away from the fence. There we go. Now, let's make sure that uh, raptors are comfortable in their new surroundings. So far, so good. All right. So, we have a new research for... I thought I did that. And we have a new area to go to. For a Loro Titan. There we are. Is it available in any of the existing areas? Or are we only going to have one shot? Yep, yeah, looks like we only have one. one area. Now these Edmontosaurus are going to have to be new Edmontosaurus. What I might do is... toss... these... Replace them with something more interesting. Maybe. Alright, I'm actually going to go ahead and demolish that uh, bowling alley, because it's going to be in the way. I have to rework those power lines. I think. Because this is going to be like a guest area. Our existence is the constant evaluation of threats and opportunities. And this looks like a good opportunity. This is going to be a guest area, so I need to get rid of those pylons. Actually, let's get rid of those trees, too. At least out to about there. Alright. And do we have fossils in? Yep, we have fossils in. And keep that going. All right, so. Get 
get a couple of viewing galleries in here. Probably want it right about uh, right about there. Here, we're going to definitely want to have power lines go through here. So I'm going to want to get rid of that and that and that. More fossils. Actually, can we get like some upgrades here to the expedition? No. You won't let me put any upgrades so I can't increase dig yield or anything like that. That's somewhat annoying. Oh. Responding to repair request. Acknowledged. Some damaged buildings. Request acknowledged. All right, but we're at the end of the episode, so what I'll do is build out this enclosure for this mission here. Um, next episode, finish that off next episode, get these guys all incubated and released, and then, uh, yeah, see how that mission goes. See what Dr. Wu wants us to do with these guys. I am still really surprised we got out of there with no casualties. Alright. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. And uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.